Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Dead by Daylight, but uh, this is actually an older clip I've uploaded, um, but I'm going to be trying to do some little voiceover over it and see what we can do with that and what we can make of it. Uh, I was actually playing a game of, or with my buddy Harvey, and well, we're going to be playing against a, I will assume, relatively new trapper, and needless to say, you guys are going to make fun of me for him playing against this guy because I don't think he knew what he was doing and seeing as this was pretty early on in my uh, PC Dead by Daylight career he most certainly wasn't experienced but we're still gonna try to have fun with this voiceover and see what we can do with him I wanna say the actual gameplay starts around two minutes in but I'm trying to use this time as an intro uh, so feel free to leave a like in the comments, tell me, or, or a like, tell me what you feel like in the comments, give me some suggestions, some video suggestions, um, game suggestions that I might play, that you might enjoy watching me play, and we will try to make something out of it. Or I'll, I'll most certainly, you know, see if I have that game, or I'll try to go to my way to, you know, buy it, see if we can get something going. Okay. Let's get this thing kicked. I got on this first gen here. And this is before I knew who this the killer was. But um He shows up maybe right now. So I think I take the appropriate step and I try to I try to walk away for a moment, but in a few seconds here he's actually gonna try to die. And that's when he actually commits the chase. actually doing a challenge inside the, the rift to open so many chests. I think that's why I ended up bringing plunders. And my buddy Harvey ends up getting hit there. I think he was trying to take the heat off of me. But uh, I'm gonna go tap this last gen see if I can get it finished. Who's gonna come help me out? Maybe you won't blow up. Right, Bill? Right. <laughs> you guys know how Bill's going to be. Pretty simple. Finished that last stream. I think, I can't remember if I actually went to go help Harvey out here, but we're going to go try to make that happen. 
Oh no. I was being, uh. Hubriatic? I'm not sure what you call hubris. <coughs> Adjective sense. But I was exercising hubris here. Never going to the basement with a trap. If you can help. Actually get into the next one and we're gonna kick right into it this time I'm not gonna you know we're gonna avoid all that nonsense torment creek an oldie but a golden can't actually remember who we ended up facing on this one but that's the fun of it right so i decide i'm gonna go ahead and get this chest out ah, who other than a death slinger My personal favorite to play as Killer. Never seen it seems to be a dull moment in playing so. But it appears though one of our buddies has gone down pretty early in the match. But to make up for that, me and my buddy Harvey are gonna go ahead and finish up the shooter right now. area, see if we can save her, but thankfully someone's already saved. So, in the meantime, we're going to work on this gym, see, see how much progress we make. Sadly, it's not going to be a lot, though, because that Meg ends up being right next to me, and I didn't even initially hear the, her window, but I do notice her getting shot. Appropriate move right there would have been to try to uh, use my for the people part, but I choked and I wasn't able to get her in time. So, sadly, she does end up getting double hooked. Tell people that are new to this game, or experience rather, that if you end up playing against lower ranks, because the mixed, mixed match making system in this game tends to be perfect. But it is playing against new, new uh, players, whether it be against the killer or the survivors. Try your best not to be toxic. Because at the end of the day, you're really only shortening the player base by making them 
miss every single swing or yeah, using ob object of obsession to track every single trap the trap relays down. Or if you're a killer, face camping, circling around, and just altogether being toxic. You can still have fun with that without being a nerd like that. Tactical teabagging. Pass the tongue. Make a pretty crude move here. And I work on the generator close to where he was just patrolling. Assuming that maybe he was headed the other side. Survivors aren't this loud when I'm playing this killer. There goes that virgin. Fuck, you know what that means. That slinger's probably had this one. Controlling the same shack generator. I'm sure he probably assumes that we're gonna come back to it. Yeah, we'll take some flash and we'll try to. I think he ends up going down here, which is not good for business. Maybe not. Oh, there's the hatch. Good news. Maybe. Death Slinger long enough for me to finish this job. I was hoping maybe I could get a flashlight. Because I know that 
Red Slinger is pretty heavy face gear. And lucky me, pull out the green flash. The burner. That's one of our favorite things. I don't do anything I can do to him. I can't, so you get injured. Pretty hyper focused. game we played pretty solid. But a couple of bad moves here and there. It ended up costing us the game. I'm trying to do my best to make my way over to the uh, far exit game. This kind of voiceover or anything like this, leave a comment, a like, and a sub. It helps me out. And uh, feel free to check me out in all my other videos. I uh, may put another recommendation on this one. But in the meantime, you guys have a nice night. Peace. <laughs>